Hello beach lover. I just did a video about how I take photographs of my prints and I figured I'd share it with you. So if you're interested in seeing how that happens, um, hang out with me for a few minutes. Okay, so I purchased a new Canon digital camera and I'm just going to give you an idea. So I'm outside on my back porch. It's pretty much midday, early afternoon. So it is kind of sunny outside but I'm in the shade, so I don't get direct light, but I still am getting some nice bright light out here. Okay, so um, I've got my, it's not perfectly set up, I still need to work on that. Um, you can see it's fairly close. The lens I'm using is the one that came with it, which is 1855 millimeter. Alrighty, and I'm fairly close so here's what I'm going to do. First we're going to go ahead and turn the camera on. As you can see here, I've got it. Can you see that? No flash. I don't want to flash in here because then I'll get a big spot. Flash off and then I want my screen. You can help me focus where I want it. All right, like I said, it's not perfect. I'm not gonna hold my phone while I do that, but for right now, you can kind of see how I'll do it. And then I'll go in here, and I will set my timer. So right now it's set for two minutes. I could set it for 10. Can you see that? But I'm gonna set it for two seconds. That's really all I need. It's to get my hands off the camera to take a picture. Alrighty. I'll make sure I focus, and of course, obviously, where I want the most focus is on her. And then I will take my picture. Okay, so I've got it about where I want it. The majority of the painting is in the lines. I've got my focus point. And I will hit my button my hand off. There we go. And because I've got the timer, we'll get no screen shake. And I think she's going to look pretty good. I will take two or three. And it, it looks to me, one of the things I want to check Make sure the lines at the top are kind of equal on the side. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to take additional close-up pictures. So, um, you know, for the smaller areas. And one thing I can say, let me check, make sure I've got, um, is this takes beautiful pictures. I love this camera. I love it when I don't hate it. Ha, <laughs> that tells you anything. It's always hard to learn something new. Okay, let's see. I will take this off. And then I go in here. That's not what I want. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go back here. Okay. Make sure I get a good quality picture. I hate to do all this and then not get a good picture. Two seconds. Okay, I'm gonna go back here. See, even that little bit of movement kind of pulled it out. Here, I'll do it like this so you can see how it's censoring. So I just want to recap everything that I did in the video as best I can. So the first thing I do is I take the artwork, my easel, and a tripod for my camera outside. And when I take pictures on the porch, I do that on a very bright day. If it's overcast, I can actually take the painting outside and photograph it. Um, if you don't have a porch and it's not an overcast day, you can take your painting out to the side of your house and uh, find a spot of shade and take a, a picture there. Um, and then 
Because I have my painting on my easel, I have to tilt my camera a little bit in order to get a straight shot. I do my very best to line it up as square as possible and getting the right lens helps. The lens I have is pretty good. You can also get a wide angle lens that can help. I didn't see a big difference with that, but you may. It helps keep you from getting that fisheye effect. I had really bad fisheye with my small camera, which is why I bought the new one. And it really fixed that problem and my photographs turn out great. Also, um, you want to have a timer because you will get camera shake if you don't use a timer. Two seconds is good. 10 seconds would be better. I'm a little impatient. I would prefer a five second option. That's just not an option on my camera. Make sure your resolution is high. I like to, or this year, I want to take my paintings and uh, make sure that they can blow up to the same size as the painting and not just smaller. So that was a pretty big painting. It's 30 by, uh, 30 by 40 inches. I think. Anyway, um, I would like to be able to create a canvas print or a regular print on a very large canvas or paper, so I need the larger resolution for that. Also, be sure to take plenty of pictures, and when I'm reviewing the pictures, I do it on my computer, not on my phone, so that I can see the details, and I will I'll blow them up and make sure that I they're very clear. So the reason I say take lots of pictures is because they may look beautiful on your phone or on your camera, but once you get them on the big screen, you'll be able to see the little areas where it's blurry. Now, a camera like what I have is not necessary, but I find that I'm able to get much crisper prints and just better quality. And the main thing is that I'm, I'm able to get rid of that fisheye effect. Um, which was really causing me a lot of problems in editing. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more like this or any of my other videos, please subscribe to my channel and if you'd like notifications when I upload a new video, please ring the bell and I hope to see you later. Bye! See you at the beach!